What's up guys, Coding Jesus here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what your first day on the job in a quantitative trading firm or proprietary trading firm is going to look like. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, my name's Coding Jesus, I'm a quantitative developer, meaning I write algorithms for the firm that I work at to interface with an exchange, and I also write trading tools and applications for traders at the firm that I work at. Alrighty guys, so what can you expect on your very first day? Now this first day will be through the lens of a quantitative developer because that's all I can speak towards, but you can also abstract this to other roles such as a quantitative trader or a quantitative researcher. All right guys, let's go through this. You will wake up at 7 a.m. really nervous on, the, on your first day of your new position. You will walk to, uh, to work or you know, take the subway or take the bus and you will arrive at a very luxurious building. This luxurious building will have most likely multiple different trading firms housed in it and multiple different banks and financial institutions. You're going to take the elevator up to at least the 30th floor. I mean, if you're a proprietary trading firm and you're on like the second floor, you probably don't want to work there. But regardless, you take it up to at least the 20th floor. The 20th floor will have a very nice view of the lake or the city or some other attraction, but regardless, what you'll notice immediately is the very large glass doors that will be the entrance to the very modern workspace. The workspace is modern because not only do firms like these have the amounts of money required to renovate office space, to make it look nice, to make you want to work there, but also it helps attract top talent. Let's be frank, nobody wants to work in an office with cubicles, everything's gray, you know, you have 16 inch desks, and your mouses don't even work. Okay, who's gonna greet you on your first day? Well, on your first day, you will be greeted by HR. And HR is going to take the reins for the first half an hour to even up to an hour and a half or even two hours at some places. What's going to happen is you're gonna introduce yourself, say, hi, I'm whatever, I'm new to this company, and they're gonna say, yes, we know you. Come into this meeting room. You'll walk into the meeting room, and that's when the orientation will begin. Now, coding Jesus, what's in the orientation? Well, in an orientation, you are oriented to the inner workings of the firm, which involves telling you who the founders are, what the hierarchy is, if there is one, and most likely there isn't, because these firms are 25 people to up to 200 people, and they are very flat in their structure. They will also tell you where the cafeteria is, where the gym is in the building. They will also tell you where the nap room is, where the Nintendo Switch is. They will also tell you what's stocked in the kitchen, in the fridge. They'll also give you the important documentation, like your tax documentation or whatever other forms you need to sign. And they will give you the very coveted access card to the building and to the office. Okay, once you're done with HR, this is where the real dread starts kicking in. You will be walking very slowly. It's gonna feel like ages. It's going to feel like a millennia, but you're gonna walk all the way into the actual trading floor. Now with some companies, the trading floor is where everybody is, where the quants are, where the traders are, where the developers are. In other companies, you might have multiple floors or even multiple offices where different divisions actually lie. The middle ground here is not where everybody is per se. It's not, by that I mean it's not that, you know, everybody's on one floor, but the middle ground is there might be a massive room for the traders, a massive room for the developers, and a massive room for quantitative researchers. Because to be frank, sometimes the traders can be a bit loud, especially if they have alerts going off that, you know, will tell them if XYZ happens, do the whatever, or something's going on in the market, or maybe there's some natural language processing that's doing whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So you're gonna walk in and you will most likely be introduced by HR to the leaders of different divisions. That will involve going to the quantitative research side and you know, saying, hey, you know, my name's Coding Jesus, I'm new, I'm a whatever, quantitative developer, you know, thanks for having me. And you will be introduced to the team leads, maybe even the CEO, the CTO, the COO, C whatever, O, 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 O. And they'll introduce themselves. And that's about it for introductions. After that's done, you're gonna be taken to your desktop computer. And you're gonna notice something. The moment you sit down, you will notice something about your work environment. You will have a mouse, you will have a pen and paper, you will have a notepad, and you will have four to eight monitors. Developers usually have two between two to eight monitors. Eight is usually reserved for traders, it's between two to four actually. And so you will have two monitors on the bottom, two monitors on the top, and you're going to feel like you're living in the matrix and there's like surround 
sound and surround vision and you know, it's gonna be really cool. I like a lot of monitors. You will also notice on that dreaded walk to your desk, the traders have like eight monitors or more and a Bloomberg terminal right beside them. So traders have all the applications and they're, you know, looking around and, you know, they're what day traders wish they can be. But regardless, that's what you'll notice in terms of the actual physical tech stack at the organization, the actual physical hardware when you're making that walk to your desk. The first person you talk to will most likely not be your boss, but either tech support, IT, or DevOps. Now these people will introduce you to the organization's internal software, such as you know where you can find Gmail, where you can find Slack, uh, what different tools you use. Maybe you use Jira to track issues. Maybe you use Redmine. They will show you if you have Confluence. They will show you where your knowledge base is. You know, like BookSec or Confluence, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And they will just get you acclimated to your own work station and desktop. You will have a very large desk. Like I said, it's a very open concept, meaning you can you know, scream to the guy at the other side of the table, say, you know, hey, blah, 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 what's up, how are you? Wave to them, whatever you want. Okay, now you've become acclimated to the actual workspace itself. This is where your boss will most likely step in. Your boss will step in or message you on Slack and say, hey, are you done setting up IT? Yes, if yes, whatever, if no, whatever. And they will walk over. And what's mostly going to happen, maybe on your first day, maybe on your second day, is they will take you into a room. And that's when you are going to learn everything you need to know about the architecture of the firm and its interaction with an exchange. For example, do we only trade on CME or do we also trade on CME and ICE? What are the trading applications at the firm? What application communicates with what? What application does what? What's stored in every application? What database are we using? What environments are we using? Can I connect to the production instance of a given application? Do we have a sandbox dev environment? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now this meeting will most likely be two hours or more where you are frantically writing down whatever the hell's on the whiteboard so you can remember it for later. Okay, at this stage in time, it's most likely lunch. You will most likely either have catered lunch delivered to you or you will order lunch online via a certain platform, whatever the hell platform you guys use or you will be able to go visit the cafeteria, maybe take some coworkers and start talking about work, maybe about who they are, get to know them better, get to know what they do, what their positions are, etc. You'll notice that these firms that nobody really cares what position you're in, they care about what you can do, which is why proprietary trading firms or independent proprietary trading firms rather are actually very distinct from investment banks that might have a proprietary trading division. At investment banks with proprietary trading divisions, people are going to be talking about their position, their prestige, etc. But at an independent proprietary trading firm, you will most likely be discussing about you know life, how it's like working, what their experience are, etc., etc., and really getting to know them as a person and individual. Okay, lunch is over. Now your first task begins. And once again, guys, like I said, this is from the lens of a quantitative developer. Your first task will most likely be to build and run a given suite of applications. Now there's most likely a given script that the developers use to launch their development environment, but being new, they want you to understand how to build this development environment or this sandbox environment from the ground up. So we'll run this application and configure it to listen to this application and configure that to listen to this application. And then you will get your development environment up and running. Now's the time where you can really experiment. You can start opening up order books, start putting in orders. And once again, these are dummy orders in your sandbox environment. They don't actually go to an exchange. You're putting in dummy orders and understanding how this given scheme or given trading system that you guys have at the trading firm actually works. Of course, traders are actually running these applications in a production environment. And when they're submitting orders, they go to the exchange. But in your sandbox or development environment, when you're submitting these orders, it's just being matched in the back end via some sort of development only simulator application that simulates a real exchange. Okay, once you're done doing that, to be frank, it's most likely going to be 6.30 or 7 p.m. Now, this is your very first day, guys. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And also, at the same time, Please don't stay till 11 p.m. to show that you're a real tough guy. Your entire career isn't going to be built on your first day on the job. Your first week or maybe even first month is still going to be getting acclimated to the trading setup, the different development environments that you can use. You know, Maybe you have 10 different environments for order entry that can communicate with an exchange and two sandbox environments. You're gonna be getting familiar with the different trading applications at the firm that you're working at. You're going to be given maybe small tasks that can contribute to the code base, like adding logging to different applications. So don't get 
too afraid or too nervous. Don't get too anxious. This is really a sprint. Actually, pause that. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So you're going to be spending a lot of time getting to know what the different applications are, starting small and slowly gaining clout and responsibility in the organization to the point where you are fully onboarded and can start committing in a dedicated fashion to the organization. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. If you didn't, double smash the thumbs down button to show me just how much you hated this video. Subscribe, share the video, guys, and become a part of the community. There is a Discord link in the description box below. There is a Calendly link in the description box below if you want to speak to me one-on-one. -on -one. And there's also a Patreon link if you want to become a patron and become part of the lifeblood of this community. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Cheers.